Hi, this is Mike with another Excel tutorial, and this is actually the first of a four-part mini-series about counting. Now here I have a list of tutorials that are on the Excel Trainer website, and I'd like to know how many tutorials are on the site. The first one in the list is on row 3, and I can tell you it goes all the way down to row 81. There's a couple of functions that I'm going to show you. One is count and the other is count A. And the difference is that the count counts numbers, whereas count A counts anything. I'll show you them both because a lot of people do get confused with them. I'm going to put the result into A1. So I'm in A1, type an equal sign as you do for any function and type count. Now it tells me that count, as I said, it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So I can tell you before I start that I will get an answer of zero because none of the cells in the, in the range I will specify contain uh, a number. But I'll show you anyway. So count A3 to A81. I do indeed get a zero because it's counting the number of cells in that range that contain a number. So I'll change the function to count A and I get 79. It's counting the number of cells in the range A3 to A81 that contain anything. So the number of cells in that range that are not blank. Now, the problem here is that I've used a fixed range 3 to 81. And as I add tutorials, I want that range to update. So I want it to be A3 to A82, A3 to A83, etc. And if I move to the bottom of this range and I added a new set of data onto row 82, it would not update that formula. Now, the way I work in this particular spreadsheet is I always want the newest tutorial to be at the top. So I'll go and insert a row at row three. And it has updated the formula to include row 82, but it's also starting it at row four, which isn't what I want. What I want it to do is start at row three all the time. So in the next video of this mini series, I will show you how to fix that problem.